Good morning, school. To the class 8B is privileged to conduct this morning's assembly. Please join us in singing hymn number 69 to be found on page 52. chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. The second Bible reading has been taken from Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. Let each of you look not only to his own interest but to the interest of others. The third Bible reading has been taken from Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you showed for his name when you serve the saints and you continue to serve them. Today we want to talk to you 
about something incredibly important that affects how we interact with each other every single day, empathy. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is empathy? Well, empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of someone else. It's like putting yourself in another person's shoes and seeing the world from their perspective. It's more than just recognizing when someone is upset. It's feeling a bit of what they feel and responding in a way that shows you care. Imagine a friend who's having a tough day. If you can understand their feelings and offer support, that's empathy in action. It's not just about being nice. It's about connecting with someone on a deeper level and making an effort to understand their emotions and experiences. Why is empathy important? Let me explain it to everyone. Firstly, building stronger relationships. Empathy helps us form stronger bonds with friends, family and even new acquaintances. When we show we understand and care, it strengthens our connections with others. Secondly, creating a positive environment. In our school, empathy can make a huge difference as it helps create a more supportive and friendly atmosphere where everybody feels valued and heard. Thirdly, fostering kindness. By practicing empathy, we learn to be more considerate and kind. It encourages us to look beyond our own experiences and understand the feelings or challenges others may be facing. So, how can we practice empathy? Start by listening carefully when someone is speaking. <coughs> Try to understand their feelings and show that you care. Small acts of kindness like offering a comforting word or helping a classmate can be powerful ways of empathy. So, let's take the time today and commit today to, to put empathy in our daily interactions. So, the topic of today's assembly is sympathy and empathy. Wait. You know that sympathy and empathy aren't the same, right? What do you mean? Sympathy and empathy. Can I do it? Same thing. Great. Let's demonstrate the difference between sympathy and empathy through a short skit. <coughs> hey guys, a rough day. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. It was really tough. Yes, I just felt really offended. I work today. I can't imagine what hard that is. It's so unfair. I get that, but what specifically happened? Well, my boss filed a ton of projects at me at the last minute. That sounds really stressful. I remember when I had a similar situation. It felt like I was drowning. How did it make you feel? Honestly, it made me feel really unappreciated and anxious. It's completely valid. It's frustrating to feel overwhelmed like that. But hey, at least you still have a job, right? Some people don't even have that. I guess that's true. But it doesn't really change how I feel. Exactly. Your feelings matter. It's okay to feel upset about what's happening. You can always talk to your boss about it, right? But what do you want, Hidant? Do you want to vent out or maybe brainstorm some solutions together? Well, I want someone to listen and understand what I'm going through. I'm here for you. But like, at least you have a job or else it could be worse. I know. That doesn't really change how I'm feeling. It's okay to feel frustrated. Let's figure this out together. So you don't think I'm helping? You are trying Priyam, but it's different. <coughs> Empathy is about understanding and connecting with how Idan feels, while sympathy may sometimes feel different. Yes, I think I just need more understanding than at least it would be worse. I get it now. I'll try to listen more and share less. That's the spirit. We are all learning together. So Vaishnavi, do you now understand the difference between sympathy and empathy? <laughs> oh yes, Anaira. That did make sense. I was so dumb to think that both mean the same thing. But I guess some of us do get confused. But the skit did help. Yes, right. Sympathy is about recognizing someone's suffering and expressing sorrow or concern from a distance. Empathy is about deeply connecting with and making an effort to understand others' emotions and experiences. So, is that the end of our assembly then? Oh, no, no, Anaira. This isn't a gentle attention. It won't end so good. Now, class 8, we will present four short skits on empathy.
a school playground. The sun is shining and kids are scattered around playing various games. In one corner, a bully named Ronak and his two friends, Sovit and Vanya, are surrounding a child named Shashwat. Shashwat looks uncomfortable and distressed. A few other kids are watching from a distance, whispering among themselves but not intervening. Hey Shashwat, did you get it here from a lawnmower? It's like a bad joke. Yes, seriously, you look so weird. You asked for the mob look or was that a surprise? Oh what? I'm going to cry. That would make this even more fun. Oh man, look at his face. He's so red. You know Shashwat, if you wanted to look like a walking joke, you nailed it. Shashwat looks down at the ground, trying to hold back tears. <coughs> the group of watching kids exchanges uneasy glances, but does nothing to stop it. Hey, you guys, don't you think it's too so funny? Uh, maybe you should just go play somewhere else. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. Please, just stop. Whatever, let's get out of here. This is getting boring. Ronak, Sovit and Vanya walk away, still laughing among themselves. Shashwat is left standing alone, tears streaming down his face. The other kids look at each other uncomfortably, feeling a mix of guilt and relief. Hey, um, are you okay? Yes, I guess. This is really messed up. We didn't know what to do. It's fine, thanks, I guess. Do you want to play with us? Sure, that would be nice. The watching kids and Shashwat walk away together, trying to move on from the unpleasant encounter. The playground slowly returns to its normal activities as the scene fades out. This is what I need. I need... This is what I feel. I feel sad and embarrassed. It feels like everyone is watching and judging. I just want to go somewhere where I can be myself without being made fun of. This is what I need. Oh, what? I need people to understand how much this hurts and to show that they care. I want to be treated kindly and to a friend who started for me. This is what I feel. I feel uncomfortable and uncomfortable for not doing something. It's hard to see someone being bullied this way. This is what I need of I want to feel like I can help and make a difference. I need to find the courage to speak up and support someone who's weak. We should all support each other, make sure everyone feels safe and respected. A school playground where a group of children are preparing for a basketball game. Two teams have been picked and only two children, Ishan and Shubhanchi, are left. To the disappointment, both were not selected as team members. Ishan and Shubhanchi stand aside, feeling nervous and left out. Alright everyone, it's time to pick the team for today's game. I'll start by picking the first few players for each team. Shubhanchi. You wait for a minute, I'll come back to you. There's no need to worry. And of course, our star player Namneet. Of course you haven't selected, please go over there. Good job. Next up, Sadiqsha. You've also been selected. Great work. Please go over there. Yagya, you've also been selected. I'm really happy with you. Please go over there. Ishan, you wait for a minute, I'll come back to you. But you've shown a lot of improvement and I'm really happy with you. Please go over there. You've been selected. Good job. Vaishnavi, you've also been selected. Great job. Please go there. And at last, Rihanna, you've also been selected. I'm sorry, Sharan Chabanchi, you did not get selected this time. You need more practice and better luck next time. It's just not fair. We have been waiting and practicing and now we get picked for either team. Yes, please have all that practice sooner. We just want the chance to play. <laughs> this is what I see. I feel disappointed and left. It makes me feel like I am not good enough and it's hard to stay positive when it seems no one wants me on their team. I feel nervous and a bit bad. This is what I want. I want to be included and to feel like I am happy. I want someone to choose, choose me and show that they believe that I can contribute to the game. I want encouragement and a sense of belonging. This is what I feel. I feel a bit unstable because I know that the challenge wants to be happy to have the game, but I also feel bad about how you might be feeling right now. This is what I want, or I want to make sure that everyone feels it 
Yes, and it wants to, and it makes me want to be more concentrated. Maybe we could have taken turns speaking on which sure everyone feels good about the team. I agree. Next time, we should try to include everyone and make sure no one feels left out. It's better when everyone gets a chance to participate and have fun. Exactly. It's important to remember how our actions affect others and to strive to make everyone feel valued and included. Let's use what we have learned to be more kinder and inclusive. <laughs> But a younger sibling, Hitash, wants to travel on. The little sibling is on one side of the door, crying. The older sibling and the friend are on the other side. Amolika, I just want to play with play this game with you. But it's really hard to enjoy it with Hitash always wanting to tag along. I understand, Skata. It's really annoying whenever Hitash always wants to be with us. Why doesn't he go and play with someone of his age? Amolika, Skanda, please let me come play. I want to join. It's not that I don't want to spend time with Tash, but sometimes I need to hang out with my friends without any interruptions. Maybe we can find a way to include Tash without ruining our game. What if we find something for him to do while we play? <coughs> like what? I don't want Tash to feel left out, but I also want to enjoy our game. How about this? We find a special game for Adash to play nearby. That way, he's still enjoying, but he isn't in the middle of our game. That might work, but I need to talk to Adash first. Hey Adash, I know you want to play with us. We are going to play a game that is just for us right now. But how about we find something special for you to do while we play? But I want to play with you. I know Adash, and we can play together later. For now, we are going to play this game. But I promise, we'll find a fun game for you too. How about we set up a special game or an activity for you right here? Okay. What can I do? We could set up a mini obstacle course or a scavenger hunt for you and we'll make sure to keep a check on you while we play. Yes, and you can tell us how well you did in that scavenger hunt after we are done. How does that sound? Yes, that sounds fun. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Great, let's get started up on setting up your game and we'll let you know when we are ready to play together. This is what I feel. I feel a bit awkward because I'm not sure how to handle the situation. I want to play with Skanda, but I also feel bad for Ritash, who just wants to be included. This is what I need or want. I need to find a way to be supportive of both Skanda and Ritash. I want to figure out how we all can have fun together without making anybody feel left out or upset. This is what I feel. I feel sad and left out. It's really, really hard for me when I just want to be with my sibling and her friend, but they don't want me to join. It makes me feel like I am not wanted. This is what I need or want. I need to feel included and to be part of the fun. I also need my sibling to understand that I just want to be around them and her friend even if it's just for a little time.
classroom where the teacher is introducing a new student who has just arrived from Kerala. The new student, Rudraj, stands beside the teacher. He looks a bit nervous but smiles warmly. The other students who are sitting at the desk, some whispering and giggling quietly as he begins to speak. Good morning, class. Class, I'd like to introduce you to Rudraj, who is joining us from Kerala. Rudraj is still learning English, so let us make him feel well. Hey, hey, yo. My name is Rudraj. I come from Kerala. I good play soccer and eat pizza. I am very much happy to be here. I see some of you are laughing. It is important to remember that everyone learns at their own pace and that we should be kind and supportive to each other. Thank you for introducing yourself to Ranch. We are all excited to get to know you better. Laughter can sometimes hurt others' feelings, even if we don't mean it that way. It is important to be understanding and respectful Especially when someone is trying something new or different. Yes, Vaishnavi. I'm sorry, Lutans. I didn't mean to be mean. I think your accent is really good. I'm just not used to hearing it. It's okay. I'm learning slowly, slowly, and I hope to get better. Thank you for being understanding, Vaishnavi. And thank you to Dranj for being patient with us. Let us all remember to help each other be comfortable and supportive. Yes, Pak. Yes, Rudraj. If you need any help with English or anything else, just let us know. We are happy to help. Thank you, Pak. I appreciate that. Great. Let us all make an effort to be friendly and inclusive. Rudraj is a part of a class now and we are all excited to learn and grow together. I feel nervous and hurt. It's uncomfortable when people laugh at me when I'm just trying to introduce myself. <laughs> this is what I need or want. I need to feel welcomed and accepted. I want people to understand that learning a new language is challenging and to be patient and kind. This is what I... I feel a bit embarrassed now. I didn't say that. If my laughter would hurt someone. It was just a reaction to something unfamiliar. This is what I want or need. I want to be more aware of how my actions affect others. Yes, and I think I try to be more supportive if I see someone new or struggling. It's not easy for them, and we can help make it better. Yes, I agree. yes, I agree. I try to be more aware of how my reactions might affect <coughs> others. Maybe we can help more encouraging and inclusive. Exactly. Empathy helps us understand and support each other better. By recognizing how others feel, we can create a more welcoming and respectful environment for everyone. The benefits of empathy. Empathy is the glue that holds our interactions together. When we understand what someone else is going through, we can respond in a way that makes sense and feels authentic. There are a few benefits of being empathetic towards each other. Empathy encourages openness. When you know someone understands you, you are more likely to share your true feelings. This openness can turn casual acquaintances into close friends and make good relationships even better. understand and appreciate others for who they are. It encourages acceptance, open-mindedness and patience when interacting with those who have different values and beliefs from our own. Empathy for other people's experiences also helps us to forgive and let go. Empathy encourages <laughs> having the sixth 
sense. You are likely to be aware of what's going on for other people around you, making you a better friend, family member, and co-worker. <laughs> we all have choices. We have choices every day. We go through it within our circle of influence. Our life, our school, our work, and our life space. They may have had different opportunities than we have had. When offered the chance, consider what you can do to help others become more visible. How you can talk to, not you others. How to respect, not disrespect a person. And how to value, not devalue those who do not appear just like you. Now, class 8 is going to present the song.
let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord, we come before you today with a humble heart and a desire to be more like you. Fill us with your spirit of kindness and compassion so that we, be, we may be a light to those around us. Lord, grant us the wisdom to see the good in each person we meet. Grant us the empathy to understand the life situation and respect them enough to extend love and support while sharing your love with dignity. Guide us as we clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. When we have sinned, help us quickly seek forgiveness before you and those we have offended. Lord, we ask you to bless us with a heart of gratitude. Help us to recognize that the blessing in our lives and to be thankful for them. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Class 8B, I would like to express a heartfelt gratitude to our principal, Mr. Tyndale Sir, and our headmaster, Mr. Ratcliffe Sir, for giving us an opportunity to showcase our talents through our class assembly, Mr. Godson for helping us with the music and singing, all the teachers who generously gave up their lessons so that we could practice for our assembly. We would also like to thank Mr. Craig Tyndale and the control room monitors, Miss Mark and the whole room monitors, Mr. Roy Chaudhry for patiently taking the photographs, Mr. James and his team for the videography, Akash Bhaiya for helping us with the props and finally our class teacher Mrs. Crispin for all her support and guidance. Now I would like to hand over the rest of the proceedings to our principal Mr. Tindale. Sir.